Nah, not much of a smoker. Just taking a breather. It's pretty intense in there. Uh, so, how do you know Charlie? I don't really know him. He's just a friend of a friend. How about you? I'm uh, I'm planning on moving in with him. Half the reason I'm here is to check out the flat. At least it's a nice night. See that cluster of stars right there? That's uh, that's Pleiades. It's also known as the Seven Sisters. It's part of the Taurus constellation. Wow, you know a lot about stars. Yeah, I've been in this space for as long as I can remember. It's sort of a passion of mine. What's that one called? So that one there, that's Orion. He's a hunter. Okay, so that's Sirius. That's the dog star, which is the brightest star. Shit. What the fuck? I'm, I'm so... What's that about? Don't tell me you brought up the dog star again. Well, at least this time the drink's not on you. That's true, but I just wish I didn't fuck it up, you know? How's the party going? Well, Simon's put on Nickelback again, so I guess it's about over. <laughs> What's with the mug? Oh, it looks stupid, I know. Uh, it was my grand's old mug. Nothing tastes quite the same without it. Even wrong. Keep it still there. So, you convinced? Well, location's pretty nice. Plus the rent's pretty good. You get yourself a deal. Yes! The boys are back. I could probably help you move in maybe in the next couple of weeks. We could probably get some... Yo, 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 worked up. What is that? A shooting star? It's headed for the beach. Huh. What if... What if it's a UFO? Oh... Uh... Oh, not this again. You've clearly had too much to drink. Come on, I need help cleaning up. Logan, come on. The cold, unrelenting truth of space is that despite the incomprehensible vastness of the universe, the statistical likelihood of finding a true connection is infinitesimally small. With billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars, the probability of discovering a kindred spirit among the cosmic expanse is minuscule. Loneliness pervades the void, as the silence of space echoes the harsh reality that amidst the grandeur of celestial bodies, finding a true connection remains a rarity. It is a stark and sobering realization that underscores the immense solitude of space, leaving one to ponder the elusive nature of finding genuine human connection in the vastness of the cosmos. For now, we are alone. Yo, Logan, the new Beyond Corruption tickets just dropped. Are you in? But normally I would, but I thought <laughs> today I would switch up. Got a little walk to clear my mind. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll just catch another time. Yeah, for sure. Bye. Sure, it's all right. My fault. I was just checking to see if anyone else was sitting here. Oh no, the seat's place free. Thanks, I just needed to catch my breath. My name's Leila. My name's Logan. Nice to meet you. Where's oh. you to the beach? Um, not much, really. I just thought it was a nice day. Take a walk and try and clear my head. I get that. I'm 
quite new to the city, so I'm just trying to find my way around. Oh, nice. Uh, where about you you're from? Oh, just a small town west. Um, my family don't really approve of me moving. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That must be tough. It's not really the moving away part, it's my uni course. Um, they don't think there's any job security in astronomy. Astronomy? I'm a huge fan of all things space. I caught Sirius a few months back, the brightest I've ever seen. The dog star? You know ancient Egypt, they called it the, the Nile star. star. All right, space boy, you know your stuff. What can I say? It's a problem. Not to me. You know, if you're free, we could um, get a drink, talk a bit more about the Canis Major. Yeah, of course. That sounds fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some walk. I met a girl at the beach. What? Like a homeless woman asking for change? What? No, she was great. Okay, fine. You've piqued my interest. Who is she? Her name's Layla, and she's super interesting, you know? Super sweet and really funny. She likes astronomy too. In fact, she even studies it. But she's new in town, she doesn't really know anyone, so I've invited her around this Saturday to come hang out. Checks you all smitten. I wouldn't go that far. Trust me, she's really nice. You'll like her, I promise. Saturday then. She better not ruin my feng shui. You're clearly cheating. Bullshit you've never played. I thought people cheated against good players. Fuck you. Please, buy me dinner first. That's it, I need a drink. Logan, have you seen my mug by any chance? Oh, right there. Oh, I didn't know you guys had assigned mugs. That's new to me. Oh, it's uh, it's okay. I'll just get another one. Uh, be careful with it, please. How are you in sixth place? Hold on, I'll get it. Do you want to go see Beyond Corruption with me? Yeah, it sounds really good. I've not seen it. Nice. I'll go and buy the tickets now. Logan. Logan, is that you? Hey, Layla. Layla. Man. Oh, hey. I thought you had that Nickelback concert you saw me tonight. I did, but you cancelled. But when I was walking... Layla invited me out tonight. She says she's got some sort of big surprise for me. You don't think she wants me to meet her parents, do you? She's actually what I wanted to talk about. Look, I'm sorry to be so blunt, but she's just not the right match. Layla. Wait, what? Just earlier when I was out walking, she was completely rude to me. 
Really? I'm sure she wasn't trying to be rude. Maybe she was busy buying that big surprise. You're not listening. She wasn't just rude. She was venomous. Cold. A bitch. Hey, don't speak about her like that. It's not my fault you guys haven't clicked yet. You know, I thought you, of all people, would be happy for me. Things finally fall into place with a girl, and you just fucking ruin it. Look, I'm just telling you how it's been for me. It's not about that. I was happy for you. But she has been insufferable and rude ever since she's gotten here. And I'm just letting you know before it gets any more serious. It's because you're a mug, isn't it? She didn't know. Sometimes you got such a grudge. <sighs> Logan. I need you to listen to me. This girl is trouble. I don't know what kind, mind you, but she is not good for you. Surely her being like this with your friends is not what you want. What I want? What the fuck would you know about what I want? You know, Leila is actually there for me. She cares about me. She understands me. She listens to the shit that I say. And no one else. You're her sole obsession. Why do you not think it's strange that you've not met her friends or her family? That is fucking strange. You know what's fucking strange? How much you give a shit? I've not met a friend, but who are you to say anything about friends? Simon was your only real one. Now he's ditched you too. I only stick around here for the cheap rent. Just leave me alone. Message. First new message. Received today at 9.31 p.m. Hey, Charlie. Just swept the phone because I don't like how we left things. Uh, just give me a call back when you can. Hi, Logan. It's Layla. I'm at the beach preparing the surprise. I hope you're still coming. <laughs> I know this isn't my usual number, but I met Charlie while I was here. I know him and I haven't always gotten along, but tonight felt like a breakthrough. He even let me borrow his phone to call you. He was going on about that mug of his going missing or something. I'm sure you'll get over it. I told him all about what I planned and even he agreed that it was a great idea. Also, I've been rethinking about what I said about meeting my family. I know I made them out to be unapproachable and stuck in their ways, but once they get to know you, you won't be able to get rid of them. <laughs> okay, well, I'll be here at the beach, waiting. See you soon.